So, so what we're working on today is um, a piece of tile terrain from the game called Battle Stations. Um, it is very similar to uh, Games Workshop Space Hulk, uh, done in 20 millimeters. So, uh, if you print out these tires or tiles, you'll need to um, scale them up a little bit. So I'm just going to walk through what I did. So I started off with a um, 100 millimeter square. So I'm going to make my squares at about 24 millimeters and about one millimeter in between each square. A little extra room. Um, and so what I did was most of the tiles have these corner walls. So I made the uh, four walls and the uh, four entrance ways to this particular tile. I'm building up uh, a basic tile now with walls. And then I started laying in the tiles themselves, the 24 millimeter tiles. And that's where we're at right now. Using Autodesk Fusion 360. So I can move the view around pretty easily to see everything I need to see. And what I want to do is um, take a break from doing the actual tiles themselves right now and work on these three millimeter walls. And I'm actually going to put um, uh, notches in here so I can put styrene to run in the walls. So going to my sketch, I've already selected the top surface here. We'll make a, since these are a three millimeter thick wall, we'll make a one millimeter reference line. The one millimeter reference line. That's going to be where I'm going to put my notch at. So I'm just going to do a two point rectangle and then using the tab button and we'll jump back over and we'll make it one millimeter wide and then just click anywhere. Hit the escape button and then I'm going to select that rectangle I just made and I'm going to click right click and press pull and what I want to do here is I want to cut so I'm going to make a, a slot where I can drop some styrene in there for my walls because right now my walls here are about uh, 17 inches from the tile to the top so you can grab and pull down to get to 10 millimeters or you can just type in negative 10 press enter and now I've got a nice little slot there so a piece of styrene will drop in there and that'll be a wall but I'm not done click in the, there again pressing the R button, which is the quick feature for a rectangle. One millimeter by 48. Escape button, click there. Press and pull, negative 10. Hit enter. And now I've got a nice little channel. Look from the top. Here you can't really see it, but from another view you can see that that is actually a slot through the wall. And 3D printing, you know, the, the walls themselves, that would be plenty high. You don't want to go over 20 millimeters uh, printing walls in case you decide you don't want tall walls anyway. So uh, I find 12 to 15 millimeters just fine. We're going to repeat that by 
highlighting, pressing R, and you could eyeball it, but see, I'm just a little bit off. I'm not going to do that. Sketch again, align, one millimeter, escape, press R, let's make our rectangle, 49 millimeters by one, select, press pull, and then negative 10. Oops, I did not do it right. Undo that. R. Press pull. Minus 10. There it is. I'm going to cut it out now. Now we're going to do the same thing. Sketch. And I'll do things differently each time just so that you guys can um, learn all the different ways. Quick link, press pull, Gonna cut, negative 10, enter. And now you got a nice little channel there. If we go back out to our home view, you can see these two channels are done now. And what this will do, this will allow us to draw on the, these walls if we want to, or the outside and make shapes. Press pull is incorrect. We want to make a line one millimeter. Escape. Press R for rectangle. Select that new point. One tab forty nine millimeters. I know it's forty nine millimeters because I made the wall fifty millimeters. And then select here, hit the R, and I know if I start here. And come over one millimeter and then pull down. I only have to go 48 millimeters. Press pull, negative 10. I have a reference uh, photo up, which you cannot see, but I do have a reference photo up of the tile I'm making and I'll refer back to it as uh, we proceed. Sketch a line. The quick link to that is L you could actually draw out your L shape or whatever shape you're making I like using the rectangles to uh, ensure I'm getting the right size. And since we're cutting, if you're cutting or joining, you won't have any issue doing it like this. But there we go. There's a tile for a room and uh, to give you a, a quick reference of what it looks like if I can select my little screen there this is uh, how the overhead tiles look 
Um, I've got it zoomed in so I can really see it. But you can see how they all are five by fives. And uh, this ship layout is a Leviathan class. Size 10. So um, I'm making the blank tiles right now. And you'll see that almost all of them have these L-shaped walls in each corner with corridors going through. The life support in this particular ship has three life supports. Uh, that looks like the tractor bay, empty cargo bay, the hyperdrive controls, cannons. And you'll see the, uh, like this one here has a lot of missiles, missile, 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 missiles, cannons, two helms, life support. And this, is, this says cargo, but they've got a battery and whatever that's supposed to be. But my point is they're all um, generic tiles. So what I usually do is uh, when I go to pick out uh, whichever one I'm working on, I'll zoom in. So in this case, here's a life support one. You kind of see what it looks like right there. Let's move that off my screen. And this is uh, a life support tile I've been working on. So to compare the two, kind of make this so we kind of ignore the other stuff. So that's the tile there. This square would be the walls here. This is the equipment that's sitting in the corners. And So what I did is I went ahead and took out the tiles that were the little 24 millimeter squares out of the corners and I'll print each piece of equipment separate to drop in there. Originally I was going to do them like this have them pre-printed on there, but this will give me a little bit of more flexibility. So let's go back to the one we're doing now. And one of the things I wanted to point out was with the 3D printing, so if you can see, I know it's black, but basically you're making control panels like this. And then I print them in black just to make them easier. One of the things you need to have is a model, and this particular one I'm using a Blood Bowl model to, for scale, to make sure that we get the right uh, sizes in, especially because depending on what kind of base you have, other thing, have a millimeter and inches ruler. These are cheap, two bucks for a steel one. I like the steel. Um, they have conversion on the back. So I'll keep those there and I'll keep checking because little things like making sure the um, keyboards are in the right spot. So let's, let's get back to making this tile. Um, this particular tile open up my reference sheet again. Oh, let's work on uh, the teleporter, you know, tile. Um, this particular tile, what I'm going to do is I want to take out these L shapes here and I'm just going to put in all these squares and then give me a blank spot on each of these where I can um, go back in. Is there another one? Actually, let's do the missile room one. Um, 
first thing you'll notice is it only has three doors because the missile's got to fire out. So what we're going to do is get this out of your way so you don't have to see that all the time. Okay, we're going to go up to our, our little undo and we're going to get rid of one of these because I need to make that wall and because I want to actually get rid of this one over here I'm going to show you how to do it uh, so I'm going to zoom in I'm going to select this press and pull go back to your normal view and we know it's 10 millimeters because we just cut it out so type in 10 millimeters and that'll get rid of that notch that's there. Same thing here. We just gotta get to where we can see it. Ten millimeters. Hit enter and it's gone. Um, and then I'm going to select here. Let's uh before I do all that, let us um, let's save this tile. Oh. This is going to be a, a starter tile template. And now, now let's uh, get rid of these. And to uh, do the zooming like I'm doing. Wherever your mouse is, that's going to be the center of the zoom, the focus of the zoom. So if, if I want the tile to move from the right hand of the screen to left, I need to take my mouse to the other side of the screen and roll the mouse wheel to get it where I wanted it. I use up up in this uh, upper right hand corner. There's a little house. That's your home button, and that'll take you back to your home so that it's easier to do. Let's sketch a line. Select the surface. No. Nope. One millimeter. Escape. Now this time. I want it one millimeter wide. But I only want it 47 millimeters. Which will take me to the edge of that wall. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with that wall yet. But we'll just stop there. Press enter. Do that whole press pull fun stuff. Negative 10. And then sketch a line on that one millimeter and it's amazing how tiny one millimeter is but the the 3d printer can do it uh, 47 tap by one millimeter press and pull negative 10. I like to go home just to see if I did it right which I did and that gives me the three sided and uh, no, I want the 
top. I just want it to, there you go. So this side over here, bring down my missile room again. So this side over here is going to be this missile rack. So what I want to do is get rid of this door. So press R, go back here, click, click, press and pull. Um, I want to make sure that it's not a new body we're joining. I believe it's 18 millimeters. But you can also, which 18 was right, but if you're down here and you wanted it to jump up here, you just click there and it'll jump straight to it. Lock it in by pressing enter. Now I've got a missile room started. And for some reason I keep... Uh, losing my uh, reference sheet. There it is. So, this is it. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but it is what it is. Okay, finally. And you can find this at battlestations.info. Just buy the game. It's okay. I like it. So this is going to be two squares taken up. This control panel is going to be three squares. So I'm just going to do this zero shaped three by five and leave these three centers out. So I've got these three already. So I just need to build the rest of them. There's a couple ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way I like to do it. I'm going to sketch a line, just reference lines. I have one millimeter spacing in my tiles. Sketch my rectangle. On that reference line. Now this particular one has got to go all up against the wall. Press and pull one millimeter. And if I go home, it shows that uh, I've made a little square. And if these walls are going to be annoying you, or at least in your way, you click, click, uh, Click to highlight one, hold control, click the other one. Then you can press and pull. And it's gonna get rid of it. Better not do that. Escape. <laughs> you can make them shorter. It's just not gonna bother me. Um, Now this is going to be 24 by 24. And something's not right already. Ah, I see what I did wrong. The other one I must have done 24 by 24 and a half. So let's escape out of this. Undo, 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 undo. Stop it. Undo, okay. Let's make a new square here. There it goes. It's still only supposed to be 24. Easy fix. I like to double and triple check because it's a pain going back later. Let's see if I can do this by eyeball. Or 
I messed up because if you remember our there's no square here so I want to escape out of that one and undo it yeah these three squares are not going to be there so let's uh, put us a um, Oh, it's 24. By 74? Press and pull. One millimeter up. And that made me a platform that I know is going to be the piece of equipment there. Ow. While we're at it, this whole missile rack. Let's go ahead and mark it also. Put that up on my. Click here, press R. It's 119 by 46.5. This one's going to be. I'm going to jump it up five millimeters. Because um, we're going to build the, the platform on there. Expect to mess up a couple times. I mean, it's not an exact science. There is a way to do patterns on this to speed this up. If if you know how to do that, go for it. I am a, a fan of the do it the same way every single time. probably hear the 3D printer in the background going to town. What I should do is uh, the 3D printer going to town. It's printing out the first tile. So basically if you hit both corners It'll give you a construction line. It wants to make it easy for you.
going to have to use construction line on this one. Make sure I get it in the right spot. One thing that really sucks is when it prints on my printer. I, the software I'm using, I cannot tell it to not. Oh, I've got a press pull. Design the walls to be. I did something wrong there. Oh, I put it right on the edge. Ugh. Did the same thing over here. Curse buckets. It's okay. It's a way to fix that. Just gonna undo this one. up there. here. So I know it's 0.5 off. Because there should be a little lip here. So I'll just make the little lip. Press pull. Negative 0.5. And now I've got the little lip. So if we go back to a view that we can see everything, we have the squares that go around. These are a little bit bigger because of the walls. These squares are normal. This is going to be the base where we're going to put our little uh, control center. And this is where the missiles are. So let's continue with the missiles. I wonder if I can put my reference screen up there.
we go. Now we have a little bit of a reference for everybody. You can kind of see what I'm building compared to um, what I have here. set this current view as home. This is going to be our front. So we have this little platform here and uh, it's got this strange way it's set up. But what we're going to do is on this wall we are going to make it look like um, uh, missiles would fire out through here Let's make it a construction line. And now I'm going to create some arcs, circles, center point circles. And uh, there's a total of oh, two, four, six, eight missiles. So we got to kind of figure out where these missiles would launch out. So this line is 238 millimeters long. That cannot be right. <laughs> Are 19 millimeters long because here's the half point. So I feel like um, the center missiles. So now we um, have four missiles per side. 1, 2, 3, 4 spots, which is what we want. So that's our true centers. Computer do most of the work for you. Mark out. 
Something does not look right there. Seven point four three eight. Seven point four three eight. circles. I'd like to do 10. Looks like 10 will work. And then circle. 10. Circle. click instead of press enter it lets you repeat without starting all over okay so what I've done here is I've made a piece here that I'm gonna slide out so what I want to do is go to my trim button and get rid of some of these extra lines. I don't need, don't want, don't care. Just like that. Then I'm going to I think I'm going to trim this line also. Press and pull. And that'll give me a um, like a torpedo bay is basically what I'm thinking. Make that 40 millimeters and we'll be done. This little part here, I want to go ahead and open those up, or we can make that a uh, a door, you know, an iris door of some sort. Because if I uh, I do, if I select this, press and pull, make sure it's not gonna let me, huh? Well, it makes it easy. We're going to make an Irish door.
Something's not right here. This time. Nope. That is very, very strange. I'll figure that out later. But you see that I've made the bodies and uh, I've got it so that the missiles will lay across there. Um, in this particular one, I also want to scroll in here, choose this line, I want to chamfer it, which basically means do a 45. I want to do a five millimeter. Ugh. Yep, five mil. And that's just gonna be a standard door frame thing. So I'm gonna do that around the um, all my doors oh. cancel and this is why um, companies can charge so much for a designed item, it, it just takes forever to do all these little things and one mess up takes you back. And yes, there's ways to skip a lot of things I'm doing, but because I'm not an expert, I am an amateur. <laughs> I uh, show you the way I know. Do not want to press full. Jam for that thing. So now when I go home, I've got these doorways that are going to be like this now. Um, most models carry a gun or something. It just makes it a lot easier and uh, that's what I'm going to do with mine and um, my wall actually stopped here which if you remember let's draw a line so I can get you a oh let's do a two point rectangle on this so I did a five mil chamfer so that's a five mil section so that gives me a door I can drop in there and it'll be a five mil wide door. So it's just a little, you know, thinking ahead. Um, next, let's, let's make this look less like a change place. And if we look back to our um, missile design, Let's uh, do a rectangle, a two point will end for some reason. Yep. Okay, stop the sketch. Press an R, there you go. I wonder why I didn't do that to start with. So, I'm working on the this side here, but because of that wall, I've got to keep it at a, a weird angle. I'm going to press and pull that. See what 5 mil looks like. It looks just fine. And then I am going to select this. And I'm going to chamfer that. 5 mil.
Champ for this, just one mil. So that's given me just a shape. Um, on the one that we're talking about up here, there's not a lot being shown here, you know. So I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Um, so we're going to take some creative uh, liberties and kind of make our own little thing here. I don't like uh, these solid edges, so I'm going to fillet those. <laughs> fillet. One millimeter. Bad thing is I gotta select each one of those. I think I can actually hold control. And then one. Oh. So yeah, there's always ways to do things faster than I am doing. So by holding control and selecting the lines I want rounded off, I can do them all at the same time. And that'll give a more uh, designed, you know, like you're going to slide in missiles into that. So we've uh, made the missiles where they're going to go. I'm still not happy with these so I am going to create a circle This time it's let me cut. So cut that right out. I'm not decided if I'm going to smooth that through or not. It's supposed to be a way to repeat all this, but. Do the circle. We'll do it the hard way. I shouldn't say hard way, it's just slower. Just by selecting the surface, pressing C. Choosing the 10 mil, press pull, anything over that 3 mil, it's going to cut it right out. Select, press C, just get us going. Get rid of it.
And now I have a rack where all the missiles will fit. And when I print this, this part here will be mostly empty. So now I've got to decide, am I going to actually put the equipment there to start off with? You know, draw it in so it's permanently there. Because if we look up on our, we've got these control and these rounded off corners. Um, I think what I'm going to do is pull that up five mils. Does not like it. Oh, I see what's doing. Okay. Get rid of that. I'm going to have to draw a square on there. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. and pull that four mils up. Now I'm going to sketch an arc. I think I need a line first. Sketch an arc. Six degrees? Eh, it looks about right. So now I have a, should have a, I do not. Gonna have to forgive me, I'm. Experimenting, guys. No, I think the seven mils is what eight looks like. Let's do eight. 
then let's sketch a line so now let's go back to our little trim function here Pretty easy to remember. Let's pull that up uh, just two mils. That way, um, when you look at it from the side, I can see the the shapes, but not um, what's going to be on them. And let's uh, repeat what we just did, which was a five mil line, and then a five mil line, and then what we did was we did a circle at eight mils, and then with our lines again, we went from this corner to the center of the circle, circle there, and then using our trim function, we went in and took out the lines that we didn't want. And then we press and pulled two mils. And so that's given us a shape that our equipment can sit on. So this is gonna be the base pedal. Base pedal, is that a word? I'm not sure, but uh, you know, that's, um, Let's look at it from the top again. And you see the squares that the models can move on. And then these three squares are where the control panel is going to be. And over here is the missile racks. And in this game, if it's not an actual tile, then a model can't move there. And then we'll print the, the torpedo or missile doors separately not too worried about that um, I'm not going to put any details or anything here I may end up painting when when these are printed out oh we forgot our 45s on this door let's do that real quick chamfer five mils and by picking something that um, you can remember easily you can come back and hit those pretty quick like I'm doing here, oops, escape out of that. Jam for five mils. We're gonna jam for that five mils. And that'll give us our little door frame. Going to the home button again. So we've made this tile for the missile bay um you know this it didn't take that long uh it's faster when you're not working through it um we've made the slots for the slide in walls if we want to go higher than these short walls there's no detail so when it 3d prints it's just going to 3d print just like this it will try to only do surface so you can make these as detailed as you want. Um, I'm not sure exactly. In this game, there's usually a star. Um, I'd rather paint that on with a template. That way if I decide I don't like whatever. But we've made the bases for the machinery. And uh, next time we'll work on probably the teleporter. Um, Next time we'll work on the teleporter tile, which is a little bit different. Um, 
but we're going to do the same thing. We may build these uh, machinery up or I may just use something like this one. I know you can't really see it. It just looks like a, a black block in my hand trying to get it into the light. But this is a computer panel with details. Um, this is computer bank, like the old fashioned reel to reel computer banks. So, or you, you can drop a piece of terrain. This is a resin cast uh, piece of terrain that was 3D modeled. So I hope this was, uh, uh, helps you making your own uh, either Space Hulk or you know, you can make any type of tiles. Um, make them generic enough that they'll all work together. One thing I may end up doing for these is on these walls, put circles where I can slide in my magnets and uh, they'll just glue, glue into the holes. But it's so easy to drill into this stuff. I, I just, I never do. Um, probably should. <laughs> It'd be a lot, a lot easier. So, thanks for watching.